This is a young team, and they are going to be able to grow together. Hunter now half game out of the wild card race. And you got to love when you have Brandon Williamson on the mound, especially the way he's been throwing the ball. Whit Merrifield, who's also their best base dealer. 3-1. Stroke to center. Friedel curls around and makes the grab. Bo Bichette is back for the Toronto Blue Jays. He was red hot before he injured himself against the Orioles. First pitch swinging, and he lines one down the right field line, but it's foul. A one. Hold the third, handled by Steer. Two down. Two outs, bases empty, top of the first. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. gets one he likes on the first pitch, and he lines it into right, a base hit. So now Matt Chapman hitting in the cleanup spot tonight. Swing and a miss. High heater up and out of the zone and down on strikes Matt Chapman. The inning is over. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of the first. T.J. Friedel leads off. Matt McLean, Ellie De La Cruz. Chris Bass, nobody else in the starting lineup has faced Bassett in the past. And generally when you have a veteran pitcher like Bassett who throws a lot of different pitches, he can have an upper hand against a younger, inexperienced team. Backhanded stop by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to keep Friedel off the bases. McLean hitting 301, 13 home runs, 44 knocked in. 1 2. Swing and a miss. Elevated the sinker. McLean went chasing after it. There are two down. Ellie De La Cruz, who has been very up and down. He has had some strong moments in the last week plus. He's had some bad moments. 1 2. Called strike three. Fastball painted at the bottom of the zone. And that's back to back strikeouts to end the bottom of the first inning. Chris Bassett goes three up, three down. And Davis Schneider will lead off for the Blue Jays in a scoreless game. The Schneider leads things off for the Blue Jays. Back door strike three. There's the cutter. Now Alejandro Kirk again behind the plate tonight. And there's a base hit into right field for Kirk. Two strikeouts in the inning for Williamson and two down with Santiago Espinal coming to the plate. And that'll score through a base hit for Espinal. Kirk will pull up at second. So first and second, two down for the number nine hitter in Dalton Varsho. And Varsho is going to try to bunt for a base hit. And he will succeed with ease. Unusual only in the sense that he pushed this one up the third baseline, Buck. Mr. Whit Merrifield, no score, top of the second, bases loaded. Opposite way, caught on the lead by Joey Votto. Another soft flare this time meets its demise. Just a little looping flare, and Votto had to go straight up using some of those basketball skills, and he went way up there, reaching high into the air to pluck that out of the sky and in the inning. No score, bottom of the second inning. Swing and a miss on the 2-2. Bassett went to the slow sweeper at 72. And that's strike three called as Bassett gets him. And that's four straight strikeouts now for Bassett. And that is strike three called. Bassett strikes out the side, and he has struck out five of the six batters he has faced so far. The Blue Jays have now gone down six batters in a row, and this inning has been the most rapid so far. As Kevin Biggio lines one past a diving Matt McLean, and he's got a base hit. And it's ball four, so Espinal will reach. And it's first and second for Dalton Varsho. A line drive into center for a base hit. Biggio around third, and he'll come in to score. Espinal checks in at third, and Varsho drives in a run with a single to center. Now Whit Merrifield will stand in. Merrifield is 0 for 2. He's fly to center and line to first. And a base hit into right for Merrifield. Espinal will come in to score. Varsho up to second, and it's 2 to nothing. But man, has this got to feel liberating for the Blue Jays' offense that has been just struggling a ton over the last couple days. Single walk, single, single. Now Bo Bichette. Bichette hits a ground ball up the middle, base hit into center field. Varsho will score without a throw. Three two-out singles. It's 3-0 Blue Jays. Welcome back, Bo Bichette. Here's T.J. Friedel leading off the bottom of the fourth. Nine up, nine down for Chris Bassett so far. We've got a perfecto in jeopardy. Friedel to deep right. Perfection gone. Reds on the board. Solo shot by the Reds. Leadoff man. It's 3-1. Just out in front, gets a fastball, he gets to it. TJ Friedel has just been so solid. No red had reached, and now it's bomb, walk, and De La Cruz to the plate as the tying run. Well hit, deep right center. Off the base of the wall. McLean shoots through second. De La Cruz up to second. Furious windmill is on. McLean to the plate. De La Cruz to third. And first plunge. One run game.
that's why you pay the to come see this kid play because he is some kind of exciting. De La Cruz out to pump out the crowd. And that'll bring up Davis Schneider, who is the DH tonight. He has struck out in his two at bats. As Schneider hits one to left field. This ball is well tagged, and it is gone. Davis Schneider with his third home run. And the Blue Jays go back on top. Well, wow, that's a much needed base hit for Snyder. He had really been scuffling since that series in Boston. So Bassett retired the first nine, then Homer walked triple, and now he's retired seven in a row since. Backhanded by Espinal, Bassett is still sitting on the mound as he had to get out of the way of that one, and fortunately did. And now Ellie De La Cruz, who delivered the most theatrical moment we have seen so far is run scoring triple off the base of the wall. He continues to put pressure on the defense. Opposite way. Merrifield chase back. Looking up. That's off the wall. David Cruz racing the second and he claims it standing. Opposite way double adds to his triple. He is the time run in scoring position. To left field and Merrifield runs it down. So the runner is stranded. Six strong innings for Chris Bassett. Uh, Mesa last pitched on Wednesday. Uh, he had a very unusual outing. And that will bring T.J. Friedel to the plate with the bases loaded. His one-two. Swing and a miss, strike three. 96 on the sinker to keep Toronto ahead. It's 4-3 Blue Jays. The bases loaded chance is stranded. Right-hander Jordan Romano out of the bullpen for the Blue Jays. Four-pitch walk. Looks like it'll be the new guy. Noel V. Marte enters to make his major league debut running for Joey Votto. To right field. Down base hit gathered by Merrifield. Long to second. Tying run in scoring position. Winning run is on. Throw down to third, head first slide, safe! Noel V. Marte, his first game in the big leagues on the front end of a double steal as the tying run with one out. He keeps contact with Toronto the bag. Toronto challenging a safe call at third base. The previous play is under review. Let's watch the front side here. I don't think there's any question that he gets his hand in. I think the question is, when Chapman actually catches this ball, is their contact made initially like right here after review the ruling on the field stands the runner is safe so Noel V. Marte and Christian Encarnacion Strand in one fell swoop have their first big league steals and it's going to come down now to Stuart Fairchild ground ball to third Chapman has it his throw to first in time and that'll do it Jordan Romano walks the tightrope but comes out unscathed he saves the game for the Blue Jays after allowing the first two batters to reach, and it's a bounce-back 4-3 win for Toronto.